Be blessed. I am Father Jeffrey Waldrop, and I'm honored to be a voice of he who is the voice. Today I'd like to talk about grace in times of uncertainty. And I say that because we all have all kinds of uncertainty right now. We're uncertain of how long this coronavirus is going to last. We're uncertain when somebody around you coughs. Is it a dangerous cough or is it just an okay cough, you know? We're uncertain about our, some people about their finances. Some people are uncertain about their jobs. Our kids are uncertain when school's going to start back up. We're uncertain whether the quarantine is going to get worse. Some people are uncertain because their loved one is in the hospital or the nursing home. Or somebody is uncertain because um, they don't know if their loved one is going to die or not. I think as we come before the Lord and we're living our lives, we're all trying to be our best, but there's all kinds of anxiety and, and frustration and hurt and sometimes paranoia that's driving some people really crazy. I think the thing that we have to realize is, believe it or not, God works best in uncertainty. God works best when we are actually outside of our comfort zone. Because if you think about it, if when we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, when we don't know how we're going to pay this bill or that bill, when we don't know when we're going to get to see our friends again, it makes you be more dependent on God or you just kind of go off and, and loop in your own little world. But hopefully, it makes you want to depend more on God. I know that any time in my life when I've been pushed out of my comfort zone, amazing things have happened. Back when I was little and was learning to play the piano, then later on when I was learning to play the trumpet, a little later on when I was learning to play the guitar, I would think I was doing the best that I could do, but then when my teacher would push me outside of my comfort zone, amazing things would happen. The same thing when I was learning to be a priest and in the seminary. And I would think I knew what I was supposed to do and how I was supposed to do it, but when I got pushed out of the comfort zone, amazing things happened. Believe it or not, several years ago, I was doing mixed martial arts. And when I was doing mixed martial arts, I would be so exhausted and I would think that I had, couldn't do any more. And my instructor would push and push and he would yell, you need to do more, you need to do more, you need to do more. And would you believe I could do it? Now, I was exhausted afterwards and huffing and puffing. But amazing things happened when I was pushed out of my comfort zone. The same thing happens to us spiritually. That when we think that we're where we need to be spiritually, when we get outside of our comfort zone, it pushes us to grow closer to God and to be able to see and to feel God even more in our lives. And I believe that the more that we can see God in those times where we're living outside of our comfort zone, it's then that God makes us wiser stronger, braver, good, and more talented. So in all the uncertainty that surrounds us, you can choose fear, anxiety, you can worry, you can be indifferent, you can be sad, you can panic, or you can anchor yourself even more in the Lord so that he can help you be wise and stronger and braver and more talented. Isaiah reminds us in chapter 43, verse 2, that God promises, when you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not, shall not consume you. Yes, the Lord is working in powerful ways in these times of uncertainty. Look for the Lord. When you feel yourself outside your comfort zone, when something is different than your normal routine, <laughs> that's when God is doing God's thing to help you be wise, stronger, braver, more talented. Grace in times of uncertainty. I'm Father Jeffrey Waldron. And I'm honored to be a blessing to he who is 
the voice.